Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll tell you about the conduction system of the heart. But before that, let me tell you about heartbeat and heart sounds. I have already told about heart anatomy in my video. So please go watch it. The link is in the description box. Our heart has two phases of the heartbeat diastole which is a relaxation phase and systole which is a contraction phase. Diastole occurs when the ventricles are relaxing and blood is getting filled in atriums through superior and inferior vena cava and the pulmonary veins. The tricuspid and bicuspid valve open during diastole and blood flows from atriums to ventricles. Systole occurs when the ventricles are contracting and pumping the blood through the pulmonary artery and the aorta. Both tricuspid and bicuspid valve are closed during systole. Now coming to heart sounds, the closure of our valves produce an audible sound, slub and dub, which is clearly heard with a spigomanometer or a stethoscope. Lab is associated with the closure of tricuspid and bicuspid valve and dub is associated with the closure of aortic and pulmonic valve. Now coming to the conduction system of the heart, have you ever wondered what keeps our heart beating at a perfect rhythm? Our heart normally beats at the rate of 60 to 100 beats per minute. Our heart has a small region of specialized muscle tissues just under the superior vena cava in the right atrium where electrical impulses are originated. And this is called the SA node or synoatrial node. SA node is also called the pacemaker of the heart which generates impulses at the rate of 60 to 100 beats per minute. The impulses from the SA node are transferred to the left atrium through Bachmann's bundle while the internodal tract conduct impulses to the AV node. The electrical impulses that are generated by SA node causes the atrium to contract and force the blood in ventricles. Now the impulses are transferred to another node called the AV node or the atrioventricular node. The AV node is situated between the interatrial septum. AV node transfers the impulses at the rate of 40 to 60 beats per minute. Impulses from SA node are slowed down so atrium can empties the blood completely. Now impulses from AV node are transferred to the bundle of Hesh which is situated in the interventricular septum. The bundle of Hesh divides into the right and left bundle branches and both bundle branches terminate in a network of conduction fibers called Purkinje fibers. These fibers carry the electrical impulses directly to the ventricles at the rate of 20 to 40 beats per minute. The ventricle contracts and the blood is pumped out of the heart and the systole occurs. There's a short period of time and then the pacemaker again starts generating impulses and again the cycle begins. The record used to measure and detect these changes is an electrocardiogram or EKG. So this is all for today's video and I will be discussing more about EKG in my next video. Thank you.